guys, it's Catherine, and this Fangirl Freakouts is all about some of my favorite female-driven comics. And there's going to be an announcement at the end of this video that I think is really exciting. It is for me. I'm hoping you're excited too. I'm super excited. Okay, anyway, um, some of my favorite female comics, I'm going to condense it. I have a massive list, but my top pick forever is Hack Slash. So good. It's like a really <laughs> gory Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Cassie Hack travels the U.S. killing slashers, which are returned killers. Very vampire-esque. There's definitely a Buffy vibe. I just love Hack Slash so much. I suggest it to everyone all the time. It's so good. Okay, so there's Hack Slash, which I love. The iZombie comics are really cool. They're way different from the TV show, but the comics are really cool. Um, there's a lot more supernatural stuff going on in the comics. Then, uh, Bitch Planet, I love so much. And I inadvertently missed like a whole run of them because I'm an idiot. I was like religiously going to my comic book store and getting every issue that is now compiled in the first graphic novel. And then somehow I thought that the run started later and I missed all of the ones that are going to be in the upcoming graphic novel. I'm totally buying the graphic novel so behind now and I feel like such an idiot. It's so good. It's in a futuristic world where women have to, they're literally referred to as like Mrs. or Ms. They're like not them. They are under their husbands all the time. Men are completely in charge and then Bitch Planet is a specific prison satellite planet <laughs> where women who are considered non-conforming to society are sent. And those women are so great. Those comics are so good. So there are those. I'm trying to think of all my other ones. Uh, the Wicked and the Divine is amazing. That one has a lot of cool female characters. Um, it's not always from a female character's point of view, but the female characters in it are great, especially one who I want to know more about. Hmm, I don't want to give anything away. I just got to a really big cliffhanger. I'm not all the way through The Wicked and the Divine yet. Um, beyond that, I'm saying um a lot and it's not intentional. Batwoman is so good. Um, I read fan, The Fangirl's Guide to the Galaxy and Sam Mag, yeah, Sam Mag suggested if you want a cool female character, you should read Batwoman Elegy and then keep going. And I totally found Batwoman Elegy and read to the third graphic novel after Elegy. That series is so cool. And Wonder Woman randomly shows up. It's really awesome. Kate Kane is so cool. I want to be Kate Kane. Can I just, can I apply to be Kate Kane? I'm not in enough physical shape to be Kate Kane, but I can still apply for that position. I can. I really can. <laughs> no one would accept me, but I could. Um, I also just started reading DC Bombshells. Yes, DC Bombshells are comics. They're really cool. It's um, World War II themed, and there are no male superheroes. It's all female superheroes. Some of the male villains show up in, like, a dressed down less super villainy form but the female characters are so cool batwoman is in it her character is great everyone is great but batwoman is a pretty key figure and well at least so far uh the third graphic novel of that set is coming out soon but i forget the exact release date then um for some like family friendly ones lumberjanes is really fun i love reading lumberjanes i used to be a girl scout and it just makes me so happy when I read Lumberjanes. Then, let's see, I have this list in front of me, you see, of <laughs> things I could talk about. Um, I also have a pull list at my comic book store, and right now a lot of the stuff on my pull list is female focused. It's also predominantly DC. Um, I'm not going to talk about all the DC ones, some of them aren't, uh, but I am reading the new Harley Quinn stuff from Rebirth, uh, Batgirl and the Birds of Prey, is on my list from the rebirth stuff that they're doing. Then I'm reading Bounty. That's Dark Horse. Yes, Bounty is Dark Horse. Um, that has two sisters. They are women of color. I have actually reviewed Bounty book one or uh, issue one over on the Nerdy Girl Express. I really liked Bounty. Um, I'm still getting it. I just haven't picked up some of my comics this week. Then Snot Girl is super good. I literally read the first issue and was like, I need to read more right now. So the second issue came out and I haven't picked it up yet. I, the way my job is set up, I can't always get to the comic book store before it closes, but super good 
and I'm super excited for the second one. Um, I feel like I have more on my list that I'm not going to go into a ton of detail for. Um, the Miss Marvel with Kamala Khan, I really liked. I haven't read all of it, all of her stuff, but I really like her character. Um, I've read some Jessica Jones. I know they're doing a re like a reboot thing. And I really want to check that out, but I was reading some older Jessica Jones, which is cool because other random Marvel characters show up and she's like, why are you here? What is going on? Which is cool because I don't think it's really going to happen in the Netflix series. Then what else is on here? There's so many things. Ooh, I just started reading Rat Queens and I love Rat Queens. They are foul mouthed, hard drinking, crazy adventurers, questing and fighting evil sometimes. <laughs> I really like Rat Queens. I've had it mentioned to me a bunch of times and just haven't been able to read it. So there's a lot of random throwing out their comics. There are more on my list, but my list is super, super long and I'm not going to just sit here and read all of them to you. Now, the big announcement. You should also share comic suggestions with me before I get to the announcement. Put them in the comments below. Tell me what you think I should read or check to see if I'm already reading it and just didn't mention it because I love comic book suggestions. I love reading comics so much. Okay. So my big comic book announcement. Are you ready? Are you ready? Drum roll, please. There's no one in here to play the drums. <laughs> okay, so I was invited to be on a panel at my comic book store this week. They're doing a ladies night on Friday night and they asked me if I wanted to be part of the panel and it's gonna be talking about women in comics and women who like comics and female focused comic books and all that. And I'm super, super excited. My friend, should be coming. I'm hoping I can record the panel. It's only gonna be like a half hour if not shorter. So I'm hoping she'll be willing to record it so that I can upload at least part of it to my channel. Uh, I think it would just be really cool. I'm super super excited. I get to talk about comic books and be super nerdy in my comic book store after hours. Yes! So excited. Okay, um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up. If you like to meet see more of me, please subscribe. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Clefnotes on my blog, clefnotes.wordpress.com. I write for the Nerdy Girl Express, the Nerdy Girl Express.com. I run their Snapchat, the Nerdy Girl EXP, and I post recipes on the iZombie Sport Group site, iZombiesportGroup.com. Bye guys!